Okay, so I've made a similar video in the past, but I, I feel like it still needs to be said. And so I wanted to make this video to explain to you why I'm still using a late MacBook Pro, like late 2013 MacBook Pro Retina, instead of something newer, like a MacBook uh, 2019, for instance. I still prefer using this, and I wanted to make this video to sort of explain why that is. It's, it's a couple of things that I really enjoy about this older version of the MacBook Pro. Uh, for one thing, call me sentimental, but I enjoy it when the overpriced computer has a logo that, you know, is turned on, you know, I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. You're sitting there in the evening and you have your computer on, you see that glow from an Apple. Being an Apple fanboy, you sort of enjoy it when your stuff is glowing, you know what I mean? Um, but that's, that's a very minor thing. And, uh, you know, I do really miss the fact that the newer MacBook Pros, they do not have the magnetic cables, which is beyond me why they would remove such a wonderful thing. Uh, I'm thinking two things. One thing is maybe those cables broke a lot more, or two, maybe they were very expensive to make. I don't know, but Apple, if you're watching or listening, please get those things back. They were super awesome, and I just don't understand why you would remove such a wonderful thing. I just don't. Um, but I think that the most important thing, the most important reason why I'm still using the a very late model, a very, it's an old model of the MacBook Pro, is the keyboard. Well, I'm sorry, but it needs to be said. It needs to be something like this in order for me to be able to type. Uh, I don't know what Apple were thinking. Probably they wanted to make the laptops thinner, but I just, I can't use this. I, I'm sorry, Apple, but this is, this is, this is ridiculous. They're thin. I mean, it, it, it would work. I could get used to it. But my question is, why do I have to use something that's worse? when this works so well. And, you know, I use my MacBook Pro for a lot of things, but one of the more important things is I do do a lot of typing on my computer. You know, I write a lot of ideas, I write scripts, I like, I, I, I use my MacBook Pro for writing, you know? And so, if it was just browsing the web, just editing, I could use like a newer version of the MacBook Pro. Um, or even the new MacBook, you know. Um, and I do understand that the new MacBook Pro 16 inches is getting more clicky sounds on those buttons, and they're a lot better. It's sort of like a hybrid, I understand it. And it will be really interesting if it will make its way down to the 13 inch or 14 inch. But um, until they fix that um, problem with the base models of the MacBook Pros. I'm still gonna use this very old version of MacBook Pro because it just feels a lot better for me. And I know there are a lot of people who have basically abandoned Apple and MacBook Pros because of the keyboard. And I gotta say, I understand them. Again, I've been testing out this keyboard. You can't get used to it, but this was better, like way better. It just, you know, they talk a lot about, you know, pressing speeds and stuff like that, but this just felt when you pressed a button, you really pressed it. And this, you have no freaking clue if you actually pressed it or not. So, I'm sorry, but um, I, I'm really in the market to get a new MacBook Pro, but I'm gonna have to wait and keep using this one. I can't really edit 4K videos on this thing. I mean, I can, but... Uh, it would just take too long to export and stuff like that. So I'm not going to use this for 4K. But I got to mention, though, like my first 200 videos that were shot in 4K, my first 200 videos on this channel were actually edited on this MacBook Pro. Yeah. So it's not it's not a slouch, but it's just compared to my uh, desktop computer, it just doesn't hold water, so to speak. So I'm hoping for the best. I'm hoping that there will be revision on the keyboard. You know, I can forgive the non-glowing logo and 
the lack of a magnetic cable, but um, the keyboard, that's where I say, nope, I need a better keyboard than that Apple. I'm sorry, but um, that's just the way I feel. So that is why I'm using the MacBook Pro Retina late 2013 model in 2020. There you have it. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, you know what to do. Take care.